doing it? Yep. Hold this. Just like this. It's like tighten the fucking nuts. Huh? I said that's why you tighten the fucking screws up. Turn it off? No. Huh. How to change a plug. That's how they're supposed to be. The ground's supposed to be in the top and the blades at the bottom. If I had my NEC book, I would show you. But since I don't have my NEC book, I'm gonna show you why. Okay. Okay, it's working. And you see that there? Now watch. Woo! That's why. Because if the blade sticks out a little bit and little kid has a little fucking spoon or something and hits that, I'm gonna shock the living fuck out of the dumbass. And then the parents gonna be mad. Oh, why do you do that? You stupid fuckers. So, yeah, I didn't give a fuck about the charger. But I'm gonna show you how to change the plug anyway. It's an old, um, made in 1972, I think. I think the house was made in 72. You're supposed to do this with the um, power off. But I know the power's off now because of what I just did. I'm using a nine in one. You need a small blade screwdriver for these little flatheads. And like you've seen before, the um that plug sparking, that's why I hate aluminum. Because aluminum wire loosens up over time. Because it corrodes and disappears. Oxidizes is the actual word for it. When you're doing this, you should always make sure you're gonna fuck and break her off. Start with the black first. Older the wire, harder it is. Aluminum wire was done a lot in the 70s. You'll find some of the older ones that have it too. But back when they did tube and knob, it was copper. That was around Thomas Edison's time. And you notice I did the white, which is called the neutral. In some houses, if the house is wired right, you touch that neutral, and it will shock the fuck out of you worse than the black wire does. Trust me, been there, done that. Come on.
Now, when you put it back on, you just reverse the process. Ground first. So, if you do something stupid, it'll trip the breaker if you're trying to be a dumbass and get caught. If you can't put an entertainment center together, I don't advise you doing this. Because it takes some common sense to pay attention. Keep all the wires out of the way. And you see that this is aluminum. You're actually supposed to use aluminum rated receptacles. This ain't aluminum rated. I didn't give a fuck. It's my house, I don't care because I pay attention. But if it is aluminum, you should actually buy the proper one, which of course I know you're not going to. Because if so, you had hired a fucking professional instead of watching my video how to do it. So, we're back to that. Son of a bitch. I have a pair of linesman cutters, but I don't know where the fuck they're at, so I'm doing this. Wires should always be tied together, not just screwed together. Where the fuck is it? Because that'll burn your house down too. Just like you've seen in that receptacle. White to silver, black to gold. Outside. Took his chair outside. Gotta make sure the wire's in there. And tighten it down real tight. And you gotta go back every year and retighten fucking aluminum. And this ain't your normal size wire, this is number 10 wire. Because with aluminum, you have to upsize it a size bigger than copper. Well, at least whoever wired it knew that much. 
Uh, if you have any questions about anything, you always look up the NEC, the NEC book. You can't just take everybody's word for it. I suggest you buy a book. Because you can't Google every fucking thing. Actually, I got strippers. That little hole there and that little hole there are designed to make loops. So you take and you can stick it in here, whichever size wire it is, whether it's 10 or 12, and you bend it that way, it give you the perfect loop. I always just use this. Done. But you can get, you can't get these because these are clients and I've had them for 20 years. But you can get the same kind, which is made by the same company at Harper Freight for the less price. And they're pretty insulated too. They're not bad. So I got four pair of one time free. Pull on it, tighten it down, I like to try to keep my wires going a certain direction just because that's done it for 20 fucking years. So if you keep them flowing, kind of like feng shui a certain way, and everything goes back the way it came out most of the time. it's aluminum you want to try to pull it around with copper it's not this hard a couple wires real fucking easy I'll probably do one for copper too just because but aluminum sucks <clears throat> okay now you got that in this is where it gets tricky because you see the aluminum wire here doesn't need to touch this and it doesn't need to touch the black and you need to turn the receptacle around the other way so you turn this this way now you have the ground facing up and all this ground is facing up and you push it in like so this is why you need to do it with the power off because if not you're going to get electrocuted and you're not going to like it your fucking arm's going to hurt for a while Then you take a screwdriver, put it in the bottom screw, and there's a hole in the box. I'll show you what the fuck I'm talking about. See? There's a hole in the box there, and there's one there. And those goddamn screws gotta go in there. You can use a drill if you're sitting on the floor to do it, but since I'm standing up, I don't feel like fucking setting. <sighs> okay. Oh, fuck, I'll try to top one down. Back to what I said, aluminum is a bitch to deal with. Hate it. I think I hate it almost as much as I hate fucking people. I got that one set in. Once you get one set in, the other one sets fine. Make sure it's level and there's a face plate that goes on it 
but I don't know where the fuck my wife put them. So, use your imagination. Thanks for stopping by.